3 o'clock kickoff. By 2.15, this was the scene, but these people never saw the game. The gates were already being closed. If you didn't have a ticket, you could go home. The lucky ones joined a crowd of 36,000, Yorkshire's biggest of the season, also the second division's biggest. The fifth minute, the midfield battle between Radford's flame-haired Stuart McCall and Leeds youngster David Batty was always going to be important. The outcome here and Snowden's shot, a warning to Bradford. It went unheeded. In the twelfth minute, Snowden's cross and Williams, all five foot nine of him, got round the defence. His first league goal. Leeds were just worth their lead and young Batty almost increased it. But Bradford did have their chances to stop their slide down the table. They appealed in vain for a penalty when Williams clearly handled Goddard's cross, probably just outside the box. The incident did nothing to lessen the tension. But the Sheffield referee, Keith Hackett, always keen to let the game flow, got through the afternoon without booking anyone, not even when Sheridan appeared to want to restyle Abbott's hair. Time entertainment dropped out of the sky, and there was more flying of a sort after the break. Sheridan shot Tomlinson's acrobatics. Bradford, short of ideas and firepower up front, never forced Mervyn Day to a serious save. Leeds defender Ashurst came as close as anyone over his own bar. Then Williams, who'd scored the first goal, turned supplier, and Snowden, who made the first, settled the issue from Davison's header. Leeds 2, Bradford 0.